What's up everybody? My name is Miles. Welcome back to the channel. Thank you for sticking around. I'm so sorry that I have not been putting out content as frequently as I used to. It is hard to be creative when you're working all the time. This is my 2020 Street Bob and today we are talking about the Rurock Atlas 3.0 helmet. I have a lot to update you guys on with the bike and I plan on making a future video about that. But today it's all about the Rurock Atlas 3.0. We're gonna get in depth here with it. I've had it for a few months. I'm gonna tell you guys my point of view with the helmet because I see a lot of people that are very unhappy with their helmets. I've been watching quite a few reviews and it's not looking too good for Rurock. I'm going to tell you guys my opinion and how I feel about it, my experience. Everybody's got their own experience. So I think that's what it comes down to is your personal experience with the helmet. So I'm not wearing my uh, Rurock right now at the moment. I am wearing my Biltwell Lane Splitter because this is my moto vlog setup. But if I was not moto vlogging, I would be wearing the Rurock because I am very happy with my Rurock helmet. I got the Atlas 3.0 Brute. I also got the um, Bluetooth headset with the helmet. So yeah, I've had some time with the helmet riding it back and forth to work all the time actually. I don't know if you saw at the beginning of the video, but I have put my Amazon <laughs> Amazon saddlebags back on the bike. I had to do some things to it. I had to cut the mounting bracket. There was a few things, but I have upgraded it and they are not rattling or anything right now and I'm pretty happy about that. I might make a separate video totally about that because these bags aren't bad if you can just get them mounted right. If you haven't already, go back and watch the video I made about the uh, Amazon hard saddlebags. There's a few things I want to go over when talking about the uh, Rurock. First off, I'm seeing people say that they don't fit right, that either their head's too small inside the helmet, it's shaking around, or it's too big. You need to actually physically take a tape measure, and not like one of those ones you use for construction and stuff, but like a head measuring tape, and really hone in on what size you need. That's exactly what I did. I got someone to measure my head and I went off of that measurement to get the helmet. And the helmet fits great. Like it fits amazing. When you're putting it on, it's a little tight. So you guys stick your fingers up in between both um, near your ears and you know, stretch, but it goes on so easy. Like I don't, I'm not having an issue at all. It's not hurting my face. It's going on easily, and once I get it on, it feels really good. It feels really good and secure, and it fits. Now I did add the headset, like I was talking about earlier, so that kind of fills in some gaps. If you don't have the headset in there, I could see how it would be like a little loose maybe, because it fills in the two gaps where the ears are. First and foremost, mine fits great. I measured it properly with a measuring tape, like one of those ones that people use at like Marshalls or something to measure your waist and stuff. And it fits great. I have no problems with it at all. So that is my first thing that I wanted to go over. Now the second thing is gonna be that it's noisy. That's another thing that I've heard. And I don't know how much I can comment on that because, again, I got the headset. Like, if I have that helmet on, I'm listening to music. And it seems quiet to me. Like, I can hear my music 
crystal clear. I don't even bump it at full volume like on my phone or anything because it's so loud. And it's actually a really good system too. Like it, it sounds good. There's bass in it and everything. So again, I can see if you didn't get the headset, it would be a little noisy. It is a little windy. Um, there was one time that I didn't charge it and I had to ride without the music. So, but let me also add that once it's charged, like it lasts. Like I can use that helmet for a week or so without charging it again. Like it's got a really good battery. So it lasts a long time. So it lasts a long time. Like the headset is actually really good. That's one of my favorite parts about the helmet. All right. Another thing that I want to go over that I saw somebody say is that it feels cheap. Um, to this, I have to say that, well, one, the helmet's light. Like the helmet is really, really light. Like it's lighter than this Biltwell Lane Splitter. It's a light helmet. So automatically, if you pick something up and it's like, lightweight you know like in your head you're just kind of like oh this feels cheap you know so that's what i think about that because mine doesn't feel cheap you know uh they put a lot of work into them and it does not feel cheap like it feels like a good helmet i don't know what to say that's that's what my guess is i'm like you know well maybe they're saying it feels cheap because it's so damn lightweight but it's not cheap it, it's not I, I mean it's a cool helmet it's one of a kind you know they only make certain kinds different designs and stuff so it's one of a kind I, I've changed my um, you can see here in the b-roll that I've changed the visor on mine to the kind of like iridescent one and I'm really happy with it again the padding inside the helmet it feels nice I'm not gonna lie, like it feels nice. And now's the point that I wanna say, I'm not getting paid by Rorock to say this stuff. I spent my hard earned money on my helmet and it was close to $800. So they have not paid me in any way to make this video at all. So I'm not like, you know, trying to kiss their ass or trying to, you know, make something up at all i'm not lying like this is the personal experience i've had with mine i'm really happy with it oh the roundabout i gotta use my head for the roundabout yeah i'm not making this stuff up like the helmet is a good helmet to me and I like helmets. I like having a lot of helmets. So for those of you that aren't happy with yours, I don't know, man. I mean, you got to stay positive, think happy thoughts about things. But it wasn't hard for me to do that. Like, it was a good helmet. It's a good helmet. Like, I would ride with it all the time. I can't wait to take my first long trip and listen to music with that helmet. It's Labor Day right now, so the roads are not too bad. Thank you for subscribing to my channel, liking my content. I'm sorry that I've been backed up. Uh, I haven't put out content in a while, but I'm working on changing that. Thank you for sticking around. And if you haven't already, go up there, subscribe to my channel, hit the bell to get notifications when I put out video. And then if you can, just, just swipe down a little bit go to that little thumbs up for me and give me a thumbs up i really i really could use it for those of you that don't know i am a parts specialist at independence harley davidson in charlotte north carolina so i'm kind of on the battlefield you know i'm up close with all these products and stuff for the harleys touring soft tail sports or everything and i try to keep you guys as updated as i am uh, working at my job and knowing things a little bit ahead of the time. So if you didn't know that, you know it now, man. Feels great outside. It's like, it's hot, but it's like cool if you're moving. It's kind of crisp. 
it took a while for me to get my rock like they promised it at a certain time and then they were like oh whoops nope we gotta uh, push it back further so I didn't get it to like a month after I thought I was gonna get it which kind of sucked but for me it wasn't a big deal to wait um, I don't mind waiting on something that is good and if you haven't go watch the um, the first review the unboxing I did of the Rurock Atlas 3.0 I made a video like right when it came out uh, I'm not making anything up it fit it felt good it sounds good and it looks good too man like the Rurock Atlas 3.0 it just looks so cool man so there was only two things that I did not like about it of course I gotta have a couple things that I'm gonna say uh, negative about it well the trim uh, coming down above uh, the, the visor at the very top of the uh, the eye hole here, <laughs> whatever this is, um, it was falling down like the trim. So I actually super glued some of it to the top, and then there was some trim liner like around the helmet that's starting to come down. That all I'm gonna do is just put some super glue on it, and hold, it'll hold it up there. But other than that, like no problems at all with this helmet it feels good it rides good um, it breathes good you can open the vent in the front I'm really happy with it so I mean in conclusion if you got the helmet and you're not happy with it I'm sorry um, I hope you can get your money back or whatever you want to do but those of you that bought the helmet and are happy with it thumbs up to you because that's me I'm happy with mine I'm not gonna try to return it or anything like it's a great helmet so I just want you guys to be wary when you're watching these YouTube videos that everybody has their own personal experience with this with this helmet um, so if you order the wrong size that's one thing you know if it doesn't fit, fit right you know it, I can take mine on and off real easy no problem so I don't know guys I think that's gonna wrap it up for this video I've got a lot of stuff planned uh, as you can see I'm gonna do a video on all the upgrades I've done to the Street Bob so subscribe and stay tuned for that thank you for watching my name is Miles ride fast take chances I'll see you guys in the next video later Right on.